Alright, so this is one version of how you can play a magic based deck where most of your damage is coming from magic champions. Um, so what you want to do is when you're creating this deck you can use any hero you want really. Um, I like the Necromancer, I think the Necromancer is the best. You'll have a pinpoint which is what I'm automatic crit, um, break resistance and a lot of weaken debuffs. Siphon, 40 energy is always good and an AoE attack isn't bad either. You're then gonna start off with the Mimic. Once it gets to 50% HP you'll come in with the Phoenix, get the revive off and start drag attacking preferably with the Phoenix. Both these creatures aren't doing magic damage, but they're generating magic cards. Um, I'd suggest taking a couple of cleanses, erase, other cleanse, and the paralysis in case you burst another mimic. Phoenix is the same, lots of magic damage uh, cards, and an erase is, again is always good. So what just happened there was that we missed was he killed my Mimic twice, he either erased the revive or he used a paralysis so I didn't get any energy from that. Um, which will provide a good example because some people might say this is more of a Mimic deck and the Mimic is just OP. Um, I can show you how this works with them countering the Mimic and us really getting nothing out of the Mimic. It would be a good example. So you're just drag attacking with these first two creatures and you're gathering up your magic cards, area magic, um, as well as some erasers. We don't have any cleansers at the moment, but that's alright. You'll take the Kraken, who deals magic damage, as well as providing some versatility as a Thorns creature, and you can also give an AoE buff you decide to utilize him that way. I often end up just playing him on his own. More as a tank thorns. Um, using some magic attack is quite versatile and good. And then you'll have the wisp and the merfolk. The spear maiden. They both deal good damage. And we'll be able to use all those magic cards. Okay, so what we might do here is raise the bravery and we want to kill this Naga he deals a lot of damage and I've generated an attack card here so I'm just gonna get rid of that adds to this energy bar here which will eventually give us a hero card and I didn't bother putting any defensive stats on him because he's almost guaranteed to die this round so it'd be a bit of a waste So even though we didn't get the Mimic proc, we're both down to three creatures and we've got kind of an extra turn, so we're one, one turn ahead, half a creature to a creature ahead, and we haven't even used um, the kind of main forces in our deck, the, um, I haven't even really started using what this deck is um, all about, so what is he? got here resistance boost so I'm gonna come in with the Kraken so I could erase this here but instead I'm not gonna use any magic damage and I'll just see if I can get a thorns here yeah, perfect I'm gonna do that and I might do this as well. It was a 10 energy attack that almost more importantly gives me mindless. So this is a debuff. It's supposed to be a debuff, but you can actually use it all the time as a buff. Because now he I can't couldn't play any cards, but I didn't want to anyway. And now he can't play any cards, so he can't use freeze, he can't use um, blind. But more importantly freeze. 
you had to freeze um, use freezer me there, I would have had to play another creature. Which I really don't want to do. I'd rather just keep the Kraken here. Until he dies. And just hopefully spam thorns on him. So if you do get procs of the mimic, and you get you have a turn with a lot of energy, you might end up playing maybe the Wisp early and utilize that energy really well. Or you would just come in with the Kraken and start using a lot of the magic cards. You can see the thorns is just a real pain. So I'm still probably not going to use my um, magic cards here. Probably could just to quick quicken the game up because it looks like we're in a fairly comfortable position here. But I'll show you how I'd usually play it anyway. I'm just going to do this. I'll do the area magic deck. Usually, I would, um, if I was playing it safe or wasn't this far ahead, I would, wouldn't have used it there and I would drag attack, hopefully get another thorns and play that. And this would have been nice if a lot of the time you can get a good um, pinpoint, which is a guaranteed crit, and then play that AoE magic card that I just played and you crit everyone. So it's quite a simple deck, um, I think anyone that's just starting out, it's a good it's a good deck to even just start playing because it's quite simple, um, it's not using a team that requires AoE buffs and um, what not, managing like a whole lot of creatures on your board at the same time. Um, so he's played Weakness, which I'm fine with. Because all I'm doing is just putting a thorns on, and he doesn't have any magic dealing champions, so he's gonna have to damage himself if he, unless he has an array. So if you're building the deck, all you're really doing to keep it simple is picking up a raise and cleanse, and then magic dealing cards, the cheapest one, ones possible and maybe a Paralyze. This is quite a good example because the Mimic didn't proc any of the passive and Mike here is a pretty good player away. He's usually one of the top players. I think at the moment he might not be ranked that high um, because the ladder board it resets every five or so days. Just to speed it up, we're going to come in here and start using some of these magic cards. Oh, he doesn't have freeze on him yet. Awesome. Perfect. So there you have it. Uh, give that a go. You can use a different hero. Um, you can change up the, the creatures, but that's just a basic um, way that the magic deck can work. Um, some might call it a mimic deck, but as you could see, the mimic passive didn't proc. You could probably play the troll or the tree in place, um, but you do need at least one or two creatures at the start that generate magic cards and because when you play your magic creatures you don't want to have to drag attack to, gener to generate um, magic cards you want the magic cards already in your, in your hand alright there you have it guys we are pushing for rank 1 today we've 
gained about 100 MMR. Um, we should get there soon. And if you enjoyed that, um, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.